I'm so grateful for all the love I have. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so grateful. I am so blessed. I am so grateful. I am so I'd like to give credit to Karen Drucker for this beautiful music. do a part two because I feel there was so much more I needed to get out and explain um, so carry on to my yesterday's video and I'll try and make it short and sweet because your time is precious so we're shifting your focus and shifting your energy it is about being in the moment and enjoying your moment now. And this is a really tricky time as the energy unfolds right now and it's really full on and it's real, it feels like a whirlwind, a whirlwind of craziness that's going on in the world. And there's lots of information coming forth and some of it can be really confusing and we feel like from a 3D perspective, from our 3D mind of we need to know, we need to, we need to know what's going on, we need to know what's going to happen, we need to, we need to take action and we need to prepare and yeah, grant you the fact, take some action, put some preparations in place and do what you need to do to make you feel a little better but honestly you've got to move that energy you can't stay in the energy of continuing continually seeking to find out what's going to unfold you have to take your own power back because by following what's going to unfold and what's possibly predicted you're giving away your power and you're giving away your energy. The only way to really be in empowerment is to be in the moment and to allow your own positive empowerment to unfold. So if it's not positive for you right now and you're seeing things that you're not enjoying, do things to change that which is what I talked about yesterday. But ultimately, when you're not manifesting what you want to see unfold for you, and you can do that in your meditations and you can do that before you go in your visualizations, before you go to sleep at night. But when you're in your daytime timeline, be in the moment and be in the appreciation of the moment of what's flowing. watched a really good interview um, that, uh, what's his name? Oh, that funny guy's name. But anyway, it was Urquhart Tolle. And all, Urquhart Tolle is all about being in the now and being in the present moment. Um, Urquhart Tolle saying you, you're not gonna you're not gonna hear him or you won't see him trying to search for what's unfolding in the future and manifest the future in a way that's negative you're not gonna you're gonna see him being in his present and enjoying the present moment and empowering himself in his presence he's not gonna go out of himself move out move his energy 
out of himself to follow someone else that's giving a narrative that's in fear. He's not going to be doing that. He's going to be connecting into his own soul of the present moment and raising his vibration to empowerment. There's never been a better time to start playing with energy. There has never been a better time to start taking back your power. There's never been a better time to start changing limited beliefs within you. There's never been a better time to change the social narrative than now. The energy, the energy couldn't be more ripe and couldn't be more powerful and supportive of this if you just believe and know that you can do it. And it doesn't, it doesn't need to be in huge ways. And when I say take back your power, I don't mean take back your power by enforcing it on anybody else. Not in a 3D way, not in this dimension way. I mean take back your power by coming into your own soul source self. And that is coming into yourself and reflecting on you, on how, how everything is, in, is within you how empowered you are. Giving to yourself, giving to thyself is where your attention should flow. And that connection that is within all of us, that divine spark to grow that, instead of putting the flow to out there, which that might unfold or might happen. And in many people's timelines, it will unfold and it will happen because that's where the attention is going. And that's what they're giving their attention to, but it doesn't have to be yours. You can change any belief, anything that you've been programmed into you, you can change any of that. We are a product of our beliefs and our belief system and the social narrative that's been put upon us but it doesn't have to be so and going within and empowering your own strength from it from within that's the empowerment I talk about it's it's a heart it comes from comes from connecting in with your heart and your own heart intuition just sit with your soul and the beauty of that, and that entails being in the moment with being with you. And that energy is so beautiful, it's so uplifting, it's so powerful. And when you connect with that, you know there is nothing more. There's nothing more, there's no, there's no, you don't, there's nothing you need to worry about when you're connecting in with that. Because you know that you're always supported and you're always uplifted. That the universe always has your back. It doesn't matter what's going to happen. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the world's going to end tomorrow and that's going to be the end of humanity. Because we never end. Our souls are eternal. And we are always supported and uplifted. To this planet for the upliftment of our souls and if we just trust in that and come back to ourselves you feel it you'll truly feel that support you'll start connecting you'll start you start opening that crown chakra your third eye will open and you'll see for yourself and you'll know and you'll feel, you'll feel it. I think that's my message for today. 
we can empower ourselves. If we tune into fear, that's what we're going to manifest. Know that we're already pristine and whole. Know that we're already perfect. We've been programmed to believe in this, in this social narrative, this planetary timeline, that we have to buy stuff and we have to take this medication, we have to fix ourselves. But if we could just hook in to the timeline that we're already whole and perfect because we are, we are already whole and perfect. We are soul source energy. We are Christ consciousness. We are aspect of that, that pure energy. Hook into that. Hook into your appreciation on a daily basis. And know that you're already, you're already there. You've already moved into the 5D. You hook into that, you've already moved into the 5D. Hook into those timelines, that timeline regularly. And you know you don't need any more. All the wealth in the world can't buy it for you. It doesn't mean anything. Yes, it's a gift and it helps. <laughs> but honestly, hooking into the energy of your soul, source, self is all that you need. Bring your presence back to self and empower self through heart intuitive allowing to love the love to flow through you and out of you and across the planet do that make that be your your contribution to flow the energy each day make that be your planetary contribution to the planet to the earth to people stop hooking into limitless limitedness and poverty and what's happening in COVID and all the shit that's out there, it doesn't serve us. Come into self and start empowering self through the heart, from the heart soul level. And you'll feel so much love, so much upliftment. And that's all that you need feel appreciation, true appreciation. Sing that appreciation to yourself each day. Allow it to flow, allow that beauty to flow in things. The information you share with other people, the work that you do. I make pyramids. that energy into these pyramids so that people can feel it people can feel that energy and it flows out into their world my wish for you my wish for you is you can feel you can empower yourself and you can feel the energy that I feel once you do, you don't need anything else. <laughs>